Good evening. I hope everyone is having a great week so far. That whatever you've got planned for tomorrow is fun. What are the... Let's get back into my birthday reading. <laughs> I got... I needed to take a break. Well, this one's got four cards. This had two cards stick together on the animal. Bestiary one. Ah, oh, ba black tourmaline. Transmutation. Huh. Your career, work, and finances, but um, my career is being retired right now. <laughs> so, work is taking care of the house. Finances, we'll see what this says. Black tourmaline, transmutation, and white willow, the ways of water, and whooper. Swan, love, fiercely, and sea eagle, renew your life. I hope you can see those okay. Transmutation. And white below. The ways of water. Whooper Swan. Yeah. 
black tourmaline. Oh, look at that. I opened right to it. <laughs> That's not <laughs> easy to do. Some say if you can't see it, it doesn't exist. But you can hear the radio, can't you? Radio frequencies are transmitted in ways invisible to the eye. A lot of information comes to us by routes that are unseen. Worlds of knowledge come across your screen, transmitted on invisible, silent ways. It's magical and in its own way noisy if you're sensitive to that sort of thing. Black tourmaline's first gift is transmutation, the ability to take all that energetic excess and turn it into something else. What, you may wonder, as both a teacher, look at that, I skipped some stuff, and that's what you, for you to decide, black tourmaline Tourmaline is both a teacher and a tool. How will you use it? How will you change from one form of energy to another? Duh. White Willow, the ways of water. Most people think of Willow as graceful and soft, a beautiful tree with weak wood. She's happy to let you have your delusions, but underground she sends her expansive roots. Questing for water, the element of emotion, which feeds her extraordinary flexibility. Willow loves to dunk her feet, sampling the flow of feelings, testing, tasting anger and joy, sorrow and sass. Pliancy allows her to have great epiphany without becoming overwhelmed by the emotions of others. Instead, they flow through her like water. If you find yourself armoring up to handle high emotions, call on Willow to teach you the ways of water. Let Whooper Swan. 
in the darkness of year's end, swan flies north. North is where the spirits gather, so swan willingly carries with her the souls of the recently departed. She loves them as fiercely and tenderly as she loves her own mate, and so sees them all the way home. <clears throat> Some say that when she returns in spring, a wisp of those she carried clings to her, a mirror and a memory making Swan feel like family, like kin to those who have loved and lost. Perhaps that's why we sometimes see Swan raising from the lake, shape-shifting into the form of our beloved, demanding the sacrifices that only the fiercest love can fathom. Swan reminds us that when we love fiercely, our love is never truly lost. Hmm. And sea eagle. When old eagle renew your life, when old eagle can no longer spot spot pike jumping in the sea, her wings feel heavy and slow. She remembers the lore of reincarnation. This mystery is passed down to those of her kind who as fledging fledglings are strong enough to look straight into the fiery sun as the ancient Knowing rises in her soul, Eagle finds a well of clear, clean water. With that well as her tether to earth, she leaps skyward and sunward, flying up till her feathers sear and the fog is burned from her eyes. Then she plummets back to earth into the depths of the well's water, emerging renewed. Eagle reminds us that life moves in cycles when you get tired and burned out draw on the wisdom of your soul to find renewal hmm. Just to call that good for tonight and stay safe everybody there's a quick peek of all my goofiness well the card excuse me now all my goofiness Stay safe, everybody. Peace. Love you all. Doodles.